everyone it's Namik and Aiko from gospelthroughats.com it's a beautiful Wednesday I'm excited to speak about the Word of God from my garden from my home in Toronto I am excited because God is doing amazing things in your life and my life and let's celebrate the small beginnings let's celebrate what God is doing I want to encourage you today to study the Word of God no matter how busy you are no matter how complicated life is remind yourself to study the word of god my days go so busy some days today i had like so many things happening in the morning i had a call that i had to coordinate for my children and uh, the second one was i had to train one of my uh, um, summer interns in my workplace and then um and then i had another session where i got trained to do some things extra in my workplace and um, then all the emails and everything that I have to do and all the work responsibilities and then um, thinking about other things as well so do life get so busy the day gets so busy you get to you get so crowded your mind get crowded your thoughts get crowded you don't know how to prioritize yourself and there was um, in the morning there was a, uh, I was talking with one of my coordinators and um, as much as they helped me and they asked for things from me to do for them so um, I had a request from her and she wanted me to next Tuesday in one of our parent uh, uh, meetings she wanted me to speak up and say stuff that um, uh, after the conference after the workshop is done and um, so uh, I said yes to her and then just now lunchtime I'm ha just having my lunch and then there's another call usually I don't pick up if I, it's unknown person they leave a voicemail and it's another place they're asking me if I can uh, do, do something for them so there are sometimes demanding and so many places where people are asking you requests and you don't really have to say yes to everything. Remind yourself you can balance your life in Christ Jesus and you have to say no sometimes. You can't say even though it's a good opportunity, even though it might be good, sometimes you don't want to say yes to everything. So have a balance and um, sometimes we need to unplug, unplug from the world. And uh, recently I talked with one of my managers and uh, uh, he was saying he uh, went to a meeting and they were talking something uh, about something and then he felt like he's out of place and he felt like he's not from this world. And that's, that's the same thing for you and me. Even though we are human, even though we are of this world, we are not of this world. We have to unplug many times from this chaos in the world and plug into God's word. So today I want to talk to you about God's word and say in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 it says all scripture of God breathed by God and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. My brother and sister, scripture, the word of God is breathed, breathed by God. He has breathed on the word. There is power in the word and it is from the mouth of God and it is useful. The word of God is like a sharp two-edged sword piercing through your marrow and your bones, piercing through your heart. It is a useful tool and it is good tool for teaching. If you learn the word of God, if you study the word of God, even one verse from the word of God, it is a great teaching tool for you. You can learn many things, just like as we in the workplace, we learn every day, we learn new things. We don't stay in the same place because if we stay in the same place, you're not going to go up. But if you stay in the same place, you're going to bet your tools are not getting sharp. But the more you... Uh, learn the word of God with the teaching the, of the word of God. You're going to get very good, equipped well. And then the word of God is for rebuking. Rebuking the devourer from you. Rebuking and correcting you. Rebuking and letting you know what is right, what is wrong. Go away this for things that you know it's not right. And correcting. 
correction is needed. Even though I'm 40 years old, I still need correction. I still make mistakes. I still might say something or do something that is not right. And the word of God will be correcting me. When I don't forgive someone, the word of God will knock in my heart and say, Naomi, you have to forgive. Naomi, carry on. Don't stay anymore here. It is correcting me. And it is training in righteousness. You and I have the word of God and it trains you, equip you. We are like soldiers in the army of God. We are being trained daily by the word of God. So that the servant of God, you and I, we are servants of God. We are not equal to God. We can never be God. You and I are servants of God. We are his children. We are his servants. And so we must be thoroughly equipped for every good work. God has already prepared the work for you. He knows what you're going to do. He's going to equip you with the word of God. So my brother and sister, let's unplug and focus on God. Switch our phone to silent. Many times I have to put my phone on silent because it's going to distract me. Close that door in your room. If you want to pray, close that door. Put on some quiet worship music distractions are so much when you have children in your home there is distractions many around all the devices are working all the devices are loud and dedicate your time to have spiritual health for you and i as much as we need dedicate time to drink water dedicate time to walk dedicate time to look after ourselves we need that spiritual time of dedication get your bible I know many times we use our devices as our Bible and it distracts, it, it pops up on top. WhatsApp messages pops up while we read the Word of God. So it's good to take the Bible as it is and immerse yourself in the beauty of truth of His words, instruction and promises for you. The Bible has hundreds and millions of promises for you, instructions for you. His words are so powerful. The more you study, the more wisdom you will gain. Solomon asked for wisdom. But if Solomon knew the word of God that came and breathed out of God's mouth, he would be wiser. So my brother and sister, do you want to be filled and do the right choices in your life and draw close to God? Study God's word today. If you are not connected to a Bible study group, we have two Bible study groups that are happening in our church. The Lakeside Church Toronto Monday Bible study group where we learn about Israel and about all these things that are happening in the world. And our Friday Bible study group that we are studying 2 Corinthians chapter 2 this week. So connect to your small Bible study groups and connect to, to the Word of God. Come on a Sunday and listen to the Word of God. There is no excuses for you. My brother and sister, let us study God's word. Study God, God's word by yourself. Study God's words by hearing a sermon. Study God's word by really breaking down the word of God and eating small peas at a time and chew on it and meditate on it, love on it. My brother and sister, today, unplug. Unplug from your busyness. Study the God's word today. May it equip you. May, may you be ready. Ready for the kingdom of God. It's taken from the self-care weekly project. Um, and we are having in this weekend uh, a small self-care get together at Joan's house. Please send her a message if you like to join her self-care um, session on this Saturday. And we're going to make ice cream that's going to be amazing and delicious. And we're going to talk and discuss about spiritual welfare and, and talk about welfare overall. So my brother and sister, you and I, we need to unplug in. Hear the word of God, study the word of God, read the word of God and dig into the word of God. Let's plug into the word of God today. No matter how busy you might be, plug in. And choose wisely. Choose your time wisely. Even though there is so much demands of people asking you to do that, do this. 
choose what is the what is the what will Jesus do what will Jesus choose strengthen my brother and sister strengthen yourself in the Word of God let's pray father God we come to you thank you Lord that there is joy joy unending when we dig into the Word of God study the Word of God talk about the Word of God Lord I pray that you encourage my brother and sister today to unplug unplug from the business of the world and read your word meditate on your word study your word because there is gold nuggets treasures in your word in Jesus name we pray amen I want to sing this beautiful song and it says there's joy in the house of the Lord there's joy wherever wherever the presence of God is it says we worship the God who was we worship the God who is we worship the God who evermore will be he opened the prison doors he parted the raging sea my God he holds the victory there's joy in the house of the Lord there's joy in the house of the Lord today and we won't be quiet we shout out your praise there's joy in the house of the Lord our God is surely in this place and we won't be quiet we shout out your praise we shout out your praise we sing to the God who heals we sing to the God who saves we sing to the God who always makes a way Cause he hung up on that cross then he rose up from the grave my god still rolling stones away there's joy in the house of the lord there's joy in the house of the lord today and we won't be quiet we shout out your praise there's joy in the house of the lord our god is surely in this place and we won't be quiet we shout out your praise we were the beggars now we are royalty we were the prisoners now we are running free we were forgiven accepted redeemed by his grace let the house of the lord sing praise we were the beggars now we are royalty we were the prisoners now we are running free we are forgiven accepted redeemed by his grace let the house of the lord sing praise there's joy in the house of the lord there's joy in the house of the lord today my brother and sister don't be quiet plug in unplug from the world and plug into the word of god today take some time out of your busy day read the word of god meditate on the word of god if you need help connect to a bible study group you won't you won't regret it even though you are tired after one weekday evening to plug in to the word of god still get in if you zoom in you can listen to um, a bible study teacher teach and you can ask your questions and and hear the word of God and be equipped. We need to be equipped. I hope you have a wonderful day. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones. My Amazon book, my third book and my second children's book is almost 99% ready to be published. And it is on Amazon KDP being reviewed. And I know God is faithful. He is faithful that it'll be live and then I can see um, author's copy and get a copy and share it with you guys all who would like to get a copy it is about heaven and we all would benefit even though it's for children many of us we need to be children by heart to hear the Word of God and learn so my brother and sister I'm excited I keep you posted God willing by tomorrow it'll be alive on the market and you and i can get a copy i hope you have a wonderful day share this message with your friends and your loved ones dig in dig in unplug get into the word of god today god bless you bye bye